Okay, so we noticed there's a leak in the stovepipe. Um, you can see on if I okay there you, you can see the uh, the water damage. It's uh, <laughs> it doesn't look so great, but it's on both the roof it looks like and the walls. It looks like it may have been repaired once before. Um, if you can tell, uh, and I see a little, I see like some, some silicone and, uh, sealant over here. Oh, here. Oh gosh. There you go. Yeah, so you can see a little bit there, but as you can see, the screws are rusted, so it's not a good sign. And it seems like it's been like this for a bit, which is also not great. I mean, I can't exactly tell how long, but yeah, and then you can see up there the sealant on the, uh, pipe and roof itself so we're gonna take a look we're gonna unscrew it take a look and see uh what the situation is okay so you can see the screws on the middle top and the roof um on the back side are actually clean so that's uh well i won't say a good sign but just the we have just a couple others that are rusty i'm sorry this one's <laughs> oh there you go you can see it and then you can see some of the ceiling up there behind. Yeah, so this is rough. So I got all the screws out. The top piece came up, no problem. The bottom piece is stuck on. I think it may have been sealed. Uh, oh God, you can't really. Okay, you can see. Uh, I guess it's kind of stuck on the pipe up here. But uh, yeah, this last screw is just, I was spinning it and it's not going anywhere. Um, so I think, I mean, whatever, it's just gonna get ripped out. Okay, voila, came off pretty easily. Uh, you can see it doesn't look too good. So I think we're gonna end up cutting this all out or resealing it underneath in between. Take a look up top. Um, One of the pieces of the ceiling came off quite easily. Uh, just gave it a little tug. Um, that was already splaying out. As you can see, there's a huge gap there um, between the side ceiling and the insulation. I'm um, gonna open it up. Okay, so I'm <laughs> starting to make moves on this uh, removal. Um, interesting uh, spray foam situation here. But then you also, this is a good thing that we get to open this up. We get to see what's underneath and where the framing is. So that's super helpful um, for like down the road if needed. Little did Victoria and know that down the road yeah, so wouldn't we'll be very far along. All of this, I think we may end up needing to get in there. Hopefully we can avoid it, but it really depends on how I can cover um, these like little pieces up because those kind of came up and it's obviously a little... Um, broken there so well uh that is it for now so this is interesting um doing this demo and i thought there was going to be this spray foam underneath everything on the sides but i realized it's not it was just this patch job um that they re-insulated so it's interesting to have a whole another aspect to my bus apparently if i wanted to uh you know, adapt with the siding so it's not just that, um, you know, that flat angle you see. So yeah, fun stuff. <laughs> uh, also found a, the electrical, so that's interesting. Um, I'll be doing a review of this little situation. Um, yeah. Okay, well, this is uh, pretty, I mean, yeah, I got a little bit extras to demo out. I got to get the uh, razor to take out, um, I guess, some of that funky insulation. When you start having problems with the bus, there's only a couple options. This is, uh, this is one of them. So I So, opened up this guy to see, take a peek up top. 
and you can oops <laughs> you can see the uh kind of state of things up here definitely just looks like it needs to be an uh to get like a nice reseal on both the roof itself and then i'm also just kind of looking at the boot um that rubber uh sort of what you call it seal there the like collar is not looking so great um and then you can see sort of the other rusty uh the other rusty screws i'm not super worried about that but might end up replacing them just in case but yeah as you can see that like seal between the um the like collar and the uh like the base that's mounted on the, the rig um it just needs a reseal and i could see on the side of the bus um like below this that it has this like leak um you know it has that sort of staining um down the side so i'll show you guys that don't forget safety first with the respirator when you're cutting into foam insulation um you don't want this shit in your lungs okay okay so fii for spray foam when it's wet as our situation with the leak did end up getting wet the insulation like hardens so it's like it doesn't give away really um so that's like annoying to try to be cutting through yeah it's it's like it's weird because you think it's so foamy whereas this is like the regular one you saw how there's like giving it yeah this one's like you can take a little piece off and like it's not exactly a rock hard because there's still like some give but it's um yeah, I can't squish it down. It's definitely, like, solid, which is weird. But yeah, you can tell the difference in the color, too. Um, just as an FYI. Fun stuff. Got it everywhere. But yeah, you can see it's all, like, that dark orange up there. And you can see kind of exactly where it turns from, like, the darker orange to lighter orange. There we go. Okay, we are done for uh, this little session. Uh, there's all the uh, insulation. I am basically just cleared out the hole around the, um, the double insulated wall. Tried to give as much room as possible. There's still a few pieces up there um, like stuck. So I'll probably take some rubbing alcohol to that. Um, for the most part, I'm leaving um, everything on the wall there. I'll just leave it because this is just going to put the wall back on or the ceiling back on. Um, and then, yeah, uh, really, I mean, as you can see, the uh, all of these screws coming from up top are uh, rusty. So it just seems like that up there just needs to get um, sanded down and re... Um, resealed so that's nice and new okay thanks guys see you soon hi friends it was just raining so i came into the bus to see if i could figure out where the exact leak is not that it <laughs> takes that much um to figure it out considering we have all of these rusty screws um but I wanted to see, like, if there was a direct entry point um, that was, like, a specific one. So, I have not found anything wet. It only just started raining maybe half an hour ago. So, um... Okay, team. Uh, my camera, my phone is on 10% battery. But, quick update. <laughs> We're on the roof. We're <laughs> almost on the roof. And, basically, we are cleaning the, um the rubber boot and going to reseal um ultimately this is looking like the best uh alternative the best like solution right now um i'm also going to clean up these edges um 
as you can see, like some of this is peeling. I showed you guys already inside that the, um, that the like screws on the inside are rusted. So to me, that's just screaming water damage. Um, so we'll go ahead and do this and then uh, actually reseal. So here we go. I already did one round of paper towel, but you know, paper towels, not very, not a great option, so. Um, and basically just trying to clean the like edge of the boot and the like glue itself. So going for best efforts here. I'm not gonna put in, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna put the ceiling back on yet. Um, obviously you need to get a new like, replacement piece for that anyway, um, since everyone was like water damage, but uh, this will serve as a good test to see whether this was sufficient and if there's any other leaks. So here we go. Okay, team. So we got the, I have a high heat uh, silicone um, sealant that is going to be used here. Um, so we will go ahead and I'll kind of be, uh, you know, going about things as I need to. Okay, there's an inner seal on it, so FYI, don't be a dumbass. This has got a 24 hour cure time, so um, it's not gonna rain in the next 24 hours, which is great. That's really the point. Um, I'm gonna kind of take another look, make sure it's good. Alrighty then folks, thanks for joining along. Hi friends, today we're going to finish up the uh, roof here and I think we kind of chatted about it yesterday or I had mentioned it yesterday, but I'm gonna take up this, oh god I can't really tell what you can see, I'm gonna take up the uh, previous silicone um, as much as I can, scrape it off and then reseal with the same sealant that I use on the uh, flu. Okay, enjoy.
Hi friends. Okay, so I finished um, getting all the gunk, uh, or primarily doing the first round of uh, getting the old sealant up around the screws. So now I'm gonna sandpaper, oops, sandpaper, and um, and then I think we'll seal again. Um, when I did the bottom screws over here, you can see like this is like lifting up, um, which I don't really like. And as you can tell, this like part up here where I ended up scraping up some of the silicone, um, I uh, it was all wet underneath there, which hopefully is, uh, you know, remedied by the fact that we resealed this piece, but um, yeah, I'm potentially overthinking it, but yes, uh, of course, she was overthinking yeah, it. Was about it. Midday, um, and ultimately so decided not to, to do anything this, about it, it and, and left then, it open. Um, okay, probably great. reseal. Well, friends, I'll let you guys see a little of it. But this up and then um see you guys later i'm going to start with the acetone um and just going around where i sanded for a clean um just making sure it's as clean as possible basically so that the new sealant will um like won't you know have any gaps if you will so probably gonna get sunburned put my 70 on but you know sun is the sun so she gonna shine. Okay, here we go. Okay, now we will do final sort of edge, wipe the edges off, and seal. Uh, now I'm just gonna do like a little once over check, make sure everything looks good uh, with just close our eyes and call it a day on the top. My friends, it has been three weeks since I sealed the top. I have not found any leaks inside. I'm monitoring the situation outside. We had talked about it before. Um, I decided to leave that under piece. Oh God, I'm gonna try to point to it. Oh gosh, that's not gonna work. Here. Okay, that bottom left edge, you see how it's lifted up? I decided to leave that open. Um, I don't want water to get stuck in there again, which I think ultimately had previously caused the internal water damage that we saw with the rusted screws, the, um, the leak that had previously been in the bus. So deciding to leave that open for now going to continue monitoring the situation haven't put the ceiling back up um which i will show you guys there's kind of a lot that's happening um and so i haven't been filming stuff on this because i mean it's just open it's chilling 
The ceiling won't be replaced until later in the build um, since we're taking out that old AC. Um, but yeah, I'm just going to continue monitoring this. Uh, I'll do another video if I decide to make changes or whatnot here. Okay. This has been a pleasure showing you guys um, how everything went. And let me know in the comments if you would have done things differently. Because, you know, always open for feedback. Okay. Can't wait for you guys to see some more updates. Oop, oop.